Ohio's Scouts Honor Law has stalled in the Senate during lame duck session. And if we don't pass it, Ohio's survivors are going to lose out on a half a billion dollars. So again, my name is Chris Graham. I've been working with Rep Sites and Rep Miranda to try to get this bill over the finish line. We're hoping to do it with a lame duck. We have 12 months from the date the trust was finalized to get this over the finish line. If we don't, these Ohio survivors lose $503 million. It's insult to injury for what they've already experienced at the hands of their Boy Scout leaders. Let me walk you through how the Boy Scout bankruptcy settlement is structured and why Ohio is in such a worse place than other states here in the nation. I myself am not a lawyer, nor am I part of the Boy Scout settlement, nor am I a lobbyist or being paid in any way, shape, or form to do this work. I'm a survivor of a priest, and as such, I know what these guys are going through, and I felt called to fight for them here at the State House. So let me walk you through how my research has led me uh, to this half a billion dollar figure. I'm going to take you to Google. We're going to search for Local Council Analysis BSA TCC. This will pull up a web page that has all of the different states and all of the different councils within each of the states that makes up Boy Scouts as a whole. Here in Ohio, we have 10 different councils. And let's use the Great Trail Council as an example. There are 227 survivors from this particular council, and they should expect to split amongst them $26.7 million. However, there's a footnote, and the footnote has some quirks to it. This footnote says the base matrix low value of a claim is the base value of a claim reduced by the low end range of the statute of limitations scaling factor. What is a statute of limitations scaling factor? Great question. Ohio has been ranked by the TCC, the organization that's managing the settlement, as gray two which means because Ohio has a low statute of limitations, relatively speaking, that they are only entitled to 30 to 45% of their bankruptcy settlement. This total claims value that I pulled from each one of these web pages that I just showed you, I added them up. And right now, Ohio survivors can expect a low end estimate of $215.5 million. If we can remove the statute of limitations for Boy Scouts that are within a bankruptcy settlement, that increases the funds available by approximately $503 million. That's a lot of money, clearly, but that money is especially relevant because it's Ohio recognizing the trauma that these people went through as children at the hands of their Boy Scout leaders. So again, my name is Chris Graham. I've been working with Rep Sites and Rep Miranda to try to get this bill over the finish line. We're hoping to do it with a lame duck. We have 12 months from the date the trust was finalized to get this over the finish line. If we don't, these Ohio survivors lose $503 million. It's insult to injury for what they've already experienced at the hands of their Boy Scout leaders. We need to honor these scouts by giving them the same amount of their bankruptcy settlement that they would have received had their abuse happened in a state like Louisiana or California or even Michigan. Please help me honor these survivors here in the state of Ohio and get them their full due. Again, I'm not part of the settlement. I'm not getting paid a penny to do this. It's just me being a private citizen and advocating for these guys. Thank you so much and have a great day.